if I go back to the console, then we can see that these Park 3 syncs available through the usual uh, scripts, but uh, uh, 3 init, so for example, Spark uh, 3 submit or the PySpark has a PySpark 3 version. Now I uh, launch the Spark 3 shell uh, to show you a few feature of Spark 3 to highlight uh, a few features of it. So while it starts up, I tell that Spark 3 is mainly about performance improvement. It performs uh, much faster on TPCDS benchmark. And uh, um, I would like to show you first the adaptive query execution so now it started up and you can see it's the uh, spark 3 so we have a small csv file on the cluster and i will run these few lines of code on the cluster And uh, we can see uh, that small uh, CSV file is partitioned uh, into a large number of partitions. So uh, as a result, there will be a lot of empty partitions. So uh, Spark can recognize that uh, during runtime and uh, uh, we'll skip whole steps. Uh, whole stages and uh, we will check it uh, through the Spark uh, history server the skipped stages so we enable the adaptive query executions and repartitioned that uh, uh, small CSV file and uh, code account so if we go to the history server UI uh, which so the Spark 3 history server runs uh, beside the Spark 2 history server. We go to the incomplete applications and uh, check the the count which were run and. Uh, here uh, we can see the skipped uh, stages, uh, so these, these were recognized during runtime.